Hello students, in this video session, we shall solve some numerical examples in impulse invariant transformation. In last video session, we have understood some theory regarding impulse invariant transformation. The following examples, let us solve it. Okay, These all are based on the common thing that already we have covered up in the last session. We know, suppose there is H of S which is given by say C0 divided by S minus S0 okay? where S0 is a constant or pole position in suppose that is H of S the corresponding H of Z corresponding H of Z with impulse invariant transformation will be C0 divided by 1 minus instead of S0 I will write E raised to S0 T Z raised to minus 1. This is how I will take an H of S equation to H of Z. This is how I will take H of S to H of Z using impulse invariant transformation. Constant C0 will be there. S minus S0 is transformed into 1 minus E raised to S0 T. Importantly, instead of S0 I will be writing E raised to S0 T where T is sampling rate or sampling period which will be given say sometimes it will be given as 1 second sometimes it will be given as 0.1 second etc okay this is the defining equation which we want so as to solve numerical examples in case of impulse invariant transformation let us solve example 1 okay all these we will take these examples with t equal to 0.1 second okay t equal to 0.1 second now, now first example, H of S, example 1, H of S is equal to 1 divided by S minus 1, okay. It is there in my standard form which I want, C0 is there, 1, S minus S0, S minus S0, S minus S0, instead of S0 here, okay, 1 is there. How I will transform this into H of Z using impulse invariance transformation? Very simple. See, H of Z is equal to C0. That is constant. Same equation I will write. 1 minus, instead of this, E raised to S0. S0 is 1. 1 into T. Okay. 1 into T. Z raised to minus 1. Over. That is what I am doing. Hmm? Here, as I told you, T, I have to take it as 1 second. Hence, hence, continuing here, H of Z becomes equal to, H of Z becomes equal to 1 divided by, 1 divided by 1 minus E raised to 1 into 0 0.1 T. Because T is given as 0 0.1 in this all examples. Z raised to minus 1. It becomes equal to, E raised to point 0.1. You have to take calculator and work on that. You have to take calculator and you have to work on that. If you are just taking E raised to point 0.1, you will get the answer. Okay. 1 divided by 1 minus E raised to point 0.1. E raised to point 0.1 has come out to be 1.105. 1.105 Z raised to minus 1. Hence, for example, 1 using impulse invariant transformation the resulting answer is 1 divided by 1 minus 1.105 z raised to minus 1 this is the answer okay now example 2 let us solve example 2 example 2 how it is h of s given it is 3 divided by 3 divided by S plus 2. <coughs> S plus 2. You see, here 3 is there. I want it in S minus S0 form. Okay, please note that S minus S0. Hence, I just make a small change here. 3 divided by S minus minus 2. S plus 2, I am writing it as S minus S0 form. Here, this is the pole here. Minus 2 is the pole position. How to transform this into H of Z? Very simple. H of Z is equal to, see here, 3 divided by, divided by 1 minus, instead of this, 
e raise to s naught minus 2 into t z raise to minus 1 okay that is equal to 3 divided by 3 divided by 1 minus 0.818 you can use calculator so as to make e raise to minus if you want i will write another step because t is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 okay into z raise to minus 1 hence h of z becomes equal to 3 whole divided by 1 minus 0 0.818 z raise to minus 1 this is the example 2 solution okay these are the two answers see please note that please note that what is the governing or defining requirement suppose h of s is there which is of the type c naught divided by s minus s naught corresponding h of z will be c naught divided by 1 minus instead of s naught e raised to s naught t z raised to minus 1 this is how i will transform the given equation very very important this is the understanding in impulse invariance transformation let us go to example 3 here example 3 s square second order equation is given s square plus 5s plus 6 i need to use partial fraction expansion i shall do it in the next board okay i hope you understood this example 1 and example 2 very simple okay let us go to example 3 example 3 h of s is given as s plus 1 divided by s square plus 5s plus 6 okay now this second order equation which is get there in the denominator can be factorized obviously hence h of s is equal to s plus 1 whole divided by s square plus 5s plus 6 you can factorize it as s plus 2 into s plus 3 okay s plus 3 now this s plus 2 s plus 3 which is there in denominator i shall expand it in terms of partial fraction expansion okay hence i can give it as c naught divided by s plus 2 plus c1 divided by s plus 3 okay s plus 3 now this c0 c1 constant c0 c1 partial fraction expansion c0 c1 constant i should find out you can use a0 a1 whatever but c0 c1 as i have told in theory you have used c0 and c1 i am using it now uh, how to find c0 c0 is equal to c0 is equal to you know that c0 denominator s plus 2 is there in this equation you will discard s plus 2 and you will write only s plus 1 divided by discarding this s plus 3 with with s became equal to minus 2 hmm? in z transformation you have understood how exactly to find the constants now what happens s became equal to minus 2 hence minus 2 plus 1 whole divided by minus 2 plus 3 minus 1 divided by plus 1 that means answer became minus 1 now c naught is equal to minus 1 Similarly, C1. How to find constant C1? C1 constant can be found. S plus 3 is the denominator factor. Hence, in this equation, you will use S plus 1 divided by S plus 2. Okay. With S became equal to minus 3. S became equal to minus 3. The position. Hence, minus 3 plus 1 whole divided by minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus 2 hence it became minus 2 divided by minus 1 hence 2 is the answer c1 c1 became equal to 2 c1 became equal to 2 hence how i can write how i can write h of s with partial fraction expansion i will write c naught c naught is minus 1 whole divided by s plus 2 plus c1 c1 is 2 divided by s plus 3 now i have brought this into my standard form what is the standard form c0 divided by s minus s0 okay 
still it is s plus 2 i want always write it in the standard form okay h of s is equal to minus 1 divided by s minus s naught s minus minus 2 plus 2 divided by s minus minus 3 because I want to write always s minus s naught s minus s1 s minus s3 s2 like that hmm? because it is easy for me to transform now corresponding h of z corresponding h of z is equal to is equal to I will write c naught as it is minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus denominator how I will write you have seen already in example 1 and 2 1 minus instead of minus 2 e raised to s naught t that is minus 2 into t into z raised to minus 1 plus 2 divided by 1 minus minus 3 instead of that e raised to minus 3 t z raised to minus 1 now t is equal to 0 0.1 already i have given you 0 0.1 second you take hmm? hence h of z became equal to minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 into 0 0.1 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 3 t is 0 0.1 into z raised to minus 1 ok now e raised to minus 0 0.2 e raised to minus 0 0.3 hence it became minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus e raised to minus 0 0.2 e raised to minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.818 z raised to minus 1 plus please look into your calculator and do this 1 minus e raised to minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.741 0 0.741 z raised to minus 1 ok z raised to minus 1 now this became like this now I can still further simplify it h of z is equal to h of z is equal to I will cross multiply this and it became minus 1 into 1 minus 0 0.741 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 into this came here 1 minus 0 0.818 z raised to minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus 0 0.818 z raised to minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.741 z raised to minus 1 cross multiplying this final answer h of z comes out to be comes out to be 1 minus 0.896 z raised to minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus 1.559 z raised to minus 1 plus 0 0.606 z raised to minus 2 ok this is my final answer ok this is my final answer you know that same thing s minus s naught hmm? same equation but initial step partial fraction expansion I have done here partial fraction expansion I have used okay if this is not uh, say uh, fraction is not available properly then you have to see in the next example I shall solve it okay I hope you understood I will be giving one assignment on this simple example to see to that you have understood this video session okay uh, try to solve that and upload the uh, assignment okay assignment 6 in this regard uh, I hope you have understood this impulse invariant transformation numerical example uh, upload assignment and if you are or if you are having any doubts in this regard you can uh, uh, put it on your group hmm? your doubts you can contact me thank you